again in 60 seconds. Блокировка начинается через 60 секунд. is under attack and has been put to lockdown. I'm still inside. Everyone else is dead. If you want Adam in all of his research, get me out of here! In 24 hours, these doors will unlock and you will lose Adam forever.
Hey, babe, how's it going? Not good. I can't keep anything down. I started painting the nursery, and then I started on the crib, and now none of the bolts will fit into any of the holes. I'm pretty sure we're just having one. Wait. Why are you in your gear? You're supposed to be coming home today. I know. It's just one more job. What? No. Hear me out here, all right? No. This one job, it's gonna pay for us to be able to buy a house in Kingston, all right? I'm talking about a nicer neighborhood. This is gonna be a better school. This is gonna be better everything, all right? And it's all meaningless if you die out there and don't come back to us. Babe, I'm gonna come back, I promise. <sighs> How much is it? It's a lot of money. Marshall needs me for one more job, and then that's it, babe. We're done. I don't care what Marshall needs. You've told him, right? No, no, I haven't told him yet. You need to tell him. I need you to choose me over him. Oh, James, please go home so I don't have to do this anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. If it makes a difference between you coming home or not, leave that one behind. Hey, when are you going to tell him the truth, huh? You know that baby's mine. Fuck off, Junior. Good. All right, I gotta go. Okay, call me when you get back. I will call you the second I'm done, all right? I love you. So what did you have to tell me? What? On the phone, Jess. She said, so, did you tell him? Um... What did you have to tell me? <laughs> Don't worry, I already know what you're gonna ask. Really, okay. what was I gonna ask? You, uh, you want me to be a daughter's godfather? Oh, good. Oh, she's back to being mine now? Okay. You're a father for all two seconds. Hey, I'm surprised you haven't asked me yet. You know, with all my qualifications and whatnot. You realize a godfather has to be willing to make sacrifices, maybe give up their own life? You're not willing to die for anyone. Hey, dude, I would die for you. Junior, you have one redeeming quality. You're honest. Don't lose it. That's all you got. Well, shit. And here I was, thinking my only redeeming quality is that I'm an absolute beast in bed. Again, why are you lying? What aren't you telling me, man? All right, broke back. My couple therapy's over. Let's go. Okay. Nothing. Don't worry about it, all right? Let's go. You know, if it wasn't too inconveniencing, I would at least try and save you. Redeeming quality. To another run through. Join us. What is there to run through? We save the pretty scientist, right? The pretty scientist falls in love with me. We make some memories. We have some laughs. She quits being a scientist to be the mother of my children. You forgot about the mini army that's invading the facility. Right. The angry militia. They're trying to get the front door, but they can't because it's nuclear grade. The ultimate cock block. Simple. We go in through the rear. Sneak in through the back door. Mm -hmm. No one knows we're there until, boom, the fireworks happen. But Marshall, you do realize that not everything is about sex, right? Everything is about sex, though, Rach. Except for sex, which is about everything else. Listen up. Eight hours ago, our benefactor, San Mieza Institute, received a distress call from one of their compounds in Bosvania. The compound is a bio-research lab that is on the cutting edge of unlocking the human genome. Hostile militia tried storming the compound, resulting in high civilian casualties. The compound is currently on lockdown, with enemy militia outside trying to break in. They have numbers, resources, and artillery. If alerted to our location, the artillery could end us before we even get started. They have men searching the forest for another way in, so it's important to be on high alert. The call came in from the only surviving scientist. The mission is to enter the facility, rescue the scientists with the research, and exit undetected. Currently, we have a team on the ground, and they have found two escape tunnels. I will join Alpha and enter the facility to locate the scientist. You two will join Bravo, Moses, and Preacher, cover our six. The mission is simple. Enter the compound without alerting enemy militia and exit through the secondary escape tunnel. In 24 hours, a helicopter will arrive at our LZ for extraction. If you aren't there when it lands, you're walking out on your own.
You know, I'm just saying here. We were offered a job, and my ex was the employer. I would let you know that vital information before we sign the contract. And I'm just saying that I did say that. When? When did you say that? When I introduced you, and I, and I said, hey, this is Rachel. We go way back. What? No, I thought you guys were stationed together. Like, you got positioned somewhere. Listen, dude, it's all good. Rachel's cool, OK? We ended the relationship mutually. Oh, that's good to hear. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck's this guy doing out here? This isn't good. It's OK. Let me shoot you. This is not OK. You don't have to run. He's going to run. There he goes. He's running. This is Bravo. We've been compromised. Got a runner. We've got a runner. We've got a runner. Move to intercept. Move to intercept before he alerts the enemy militia. Go. less than five minutes and already the enemy knows our position. Congratulations, you may have just killed us. Do you speak English? All right, who wants to kill him? What are you doing here, kid? We don't have time for this. He has a metal detector. What do you think he's looking for, bottle caps? He's looking for the hatch. So we tie him up. Listen, kid, I don't want to hurt you, but I can't have you telling your friends where we are. Do you understand? Good. Now give me your hands. They're coming. The Nephilim's coming. Yeah? Well... We'll get him, too. This is Alpha. We've entered the facility, starting our search for the scientists. Going radio silent. See you on the other side.
exactly what we weren't supposed to do. Is Moses all right? He's gone. Jack, we gotta get out of here. This place is gonna be crawling with militia. Looks like it's clean through. I need a couple minutes, but I can fix it. We don't have a minute, Beck. Let's go. Just keep an eye out, all right? Moses is dead, and he's staying here, too. Let's go. Draw that from a priest. It's going to hurt. Beck, I see movement. Right, you're going to be OK. Look at... He's not going to be OK. None of us are going to be OK. We are vulnerable out here in the middle of the woods. We need them. To... All right, I'm not leaving, OK? You want to leave? Then do it. But I'm not leaving him behind. We're out of time. There's a hole two feet right there. Preach, we're gonna put you in that hole, we'll come back for you, yeah? Let's go. All right, let's get up. Come on. Okay. You are gonna hide here. They'll be safe. They won't see you. I'll come back for you. Oh, shit. Don't move. I thought you said he was dead. Yeah, I thought he was dead. this gunfight right now? Take the shot or he's dead. He's already dead, Beckett. Take the damn shot. Fine. Cover my six. Here we go.
I'm down the sidearm. There's a ravine up ahead. We have to jump. What? That's it. There's a cliff. Cliff. Water. We have to jump. You want me to jump off the cliff? That's your best idea? Yes. Yes, that's the best idea. You got a better one? No, no, I like it, cowboy. Them? No. Downstream. Won't be long. Keep your distance. Let them lead us to the entrance. We will deal with them then. Junior, where are you? Hey, back. Yeah. Over yeah, here. Right. Fucking hell, back. <sighs> so, Farmer Beckett. Thinking. Maybe you're thinking you should have killed that kid, huh? Pop, pop, we're in out. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize we came here to kill kids, huh? Is that how you roll? That's how Marshall does it, huh? Kills kids, he fucking leaves his team behind. What are you even talking about? What do you think I'm talking about? You left Moses for dead, and you made me leave Preacher. Yeah, I thought Moses was dead. And as for Preacher, we gave him more of a fighting chance than he would have ever fucking given us. You'd be mad at me when we get home. Yeah, if we get home. How far are we from Alpha? That river actually saved us some time. I imagine we're only a couple clicks out now. So we follow the ridge line. If we're below them, we just carry on and hope Alpha had better luck. This is it. This is where we enter. No, no, no. This is where we meet them. Well, they should have been here by now. Alpha's probably already come and gone. We can't keep waiting here. If those dogs catch us, we're done. What are you suggesting? I say we enter the compound. We meet up with Alpha. We exit where they entered. We haul ass from there. No, no. We move on. We pick up. Listen, listen. We can't wait here anymore. 
Sooner or later, those dogs are gonna find us. And when they do, we're done. No, listen, with any luck they have... Marshall, we can't keep out running them, all right? We need to go where they can't. Trust me, this is our best option, all right? Lead the way, James. You sure this is the right way? Honestly, I'm not sure of anything right now. Those dogs are getting pretty close and we've kind of trapped ourselves in here. Yeah, well, let's hope I know how to read a map. I wouldn't trust you to read a book. <clears throat> Here you not want to talk. It's okay. I don't need you to talk. I need you to listen. <coughs> See that man there? He not like you. You killed his brother, and this is not good. <coughs> he wants to kill you very slowly. If you help me, maybe I uh, put in good word, and he kill you not so slowly, yeah? Who's in the bag? He speaks. His name was Matei. You knew him? Not well. Once infection start, only can be stopped by burn. We have sealed main doors and locked everyone inside. But there are other ways in and out. You want me to show you where the other entrance is? Yes. We were searching for them when you came and killed our men. We didn't shoot first. I don't care who started. John, you care who shoot first? Yes, John will not care either. We need to work together. <laughs> Open bag. Now you see why anyone trying to enter facility dangerous. This get out, kill every. How do I know you're telling the truth? You don't, but truth right in front. Thing I was supposed to tell you earlier? Yeah. This is my last job. Tell you what we get out of here? It's my last job too. Oh 
shit. Ooh. Well, that's convenient. Yeah. Where's the body? better than the last guy. Yeah. So, you and Rachel, why'd you guys uh, break up? You, uh, you want to do this now? Yeah, I could use the distraction. She found out about my condition. What, you mean your emotional maturity? That's the one. Uh, that. And she said the sex was too good. Yeah, that's always a deal breaker. She is. What the fuck? Looks like they found something in the ice. Fuck the money, let's get out of here. Are you done playing detective? Because you're just typing in random passwords. Stuff. The expedition to recover Subject N's body from the glacier was a success, but the human trials have proved devastating. The foreign blood acts like a parasite and attacks the human DNA. The theory has arisen among some of the scientists that this specimen is the biblical species from the Book of Enoch. And if so, maybe we should have left it in the ice. Maybe... Let me sum it up for you. Man plays God and ends up creating the fucking devil. Do you remember in Sunday school and they used to teach us about the fallen angels in Noah's Ark? I think I missed that day. The fallen angels raped the daughters of men and they created this species of monster called the Nephilim that would wage war on mankind. Mankind had lost the battle and they were on the verge of extinction when Noah built the Ark. God sends the flood and he cleanses the world of the abomination. Yeah. I definitely went to a different Sunday school. It's just supposed to be a story, but... So what, these guys found an alien in the ice? And they're trying to breed us with him? You pull the drives. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, Marshall. It's you from the past. You're in a bunker with a bunch of dead scientists and maybe some kind of biblical species, so check your life choices. Drop the axe. Dr. Chloe? It's okay. Junior, I found her. It's okay. We're gonna get you out of here. You need to be quiet. They're attracted to sound.
to keep moving. It's right below us. We need to move. Doc, we gotta keep moving. It's you from the past. You're in a bunker with a bunch of dead scientists and maybe some biblical hybrids, so maybe think about your life choices. And you know what? Check on the Beckets because. I swear to God. Come on, you son of a bitch. I'll show you something. You good? Fuck. What the fuck are we doing here? Fuck. Fucking freak show down here. Are you good? Are you good, Dr. Chloe? Just need some fucking answers. <laughs> that before. What are we doing here, cowboy? Just get me out of here, please. We're not fucking leaving this room until you start telling us what's going on. They're genetic hybrids. Hybrids? Hybrids of what? Part human, part something else. What's the something else? We called it subject in. We extracted its blood and made Adam with it. Can we go now? This is that Nephilim shit you guys are talking about outside. Oh, God. What the hell's wrong with you people? You find something in the goddamn ice, you leave it in the goddamn ice. Here's what we need to do. We need to find the other service entrance. We go in through medical, into engineering. Hopefully along the way we find out. No. No, no, no. Oh, what now? I am not going down there. Like hell you're not going why? Why don't you want to go down there? That's where Adam started it all. And I just spent the last 20 hours getting as far away from there as possible. How many of these things are there? This facility has 22 employees. How many do you think are infected? All of them, except one. You're the one, right? You're the one that's not infected? Wait. These things are fucking people. These are your people? Maybe they're killing each other. There might be less of them. I know. They don't attack their own. It doesn't change anything. We still need to go down that way. The facility is on lockdown. You couldn't go down there if you wanted to. We need to go up. What is wrong with you? We can't go back up. The militia are up there. They followed us in. Why did you lead them to the entrance then? Who are you guys? Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Nice to meet you too. Okay, your cavalry that you sent a little message to, your special ops team, they are dead. And we're not. And you're in the shit. So we're going down there with her there. The intel says there's another tunnel that leads out. We find it. We find Alpha. We get out of here. <laughs> I think this is it. 
All right, who is this Adam, huh? Why is he so important? Adam was the first successful hybrid created 30 years ago. He was moved here for containment when he became unstable. You guys put him in containment? Come on, Beck, how you doing? Working on it. Subject N's DNA had adverse effects on adult DNA. The only way to merge the two genetic strains is in an embryo. Oh, great. So he's a test tube baby, you guys. So what happened to him? Didn't you just hear he didn't get breast fed? No one had asked if Yusuf came with me the science experiment, and he snapped. <clears throat> That's what happened. Okay. Moral of the story, you have to have consent. Got it.
that mean? Lockdown's over. on her lower abdomen. stretcher we can use to carry her out. Okay, hey, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. We don't have time. I'll be quick. Everything's gonna be fine. Hey, I got this. Go find us the way out. Okay, just keep pressure on the wound. I'm gonna look for the next hatch. your friend. You put, a, you put a bullet in her head. Once the blood is in, you can't stop it. Your friend was turning. She was in pain. You fucking killed her. I stopped her suffering. Kill you right here, right now, huh? Stay calm. They knew what was happening to her because I've seen it happen again and again to my friends. This isn't the time, all right? We can deal with this later, but right now, we need to get going. Yeah? Well, I should be put to the fucking hey, side. Hey. Nobody else has to die. Listen. You don't get to talk! The person you cared for is gone. The longer we stay here, the more dangerous it is for you. You hear that? They're gonna be through that door any second. We need to get out of here. Move. No, I'm not moving. You're not thinking clearly. Move the fuck out of the way. No, no, just take one second. Think. Move! What the hell's wrong with you? What the hell's wrong with me, huh? What the hell's wrong with you? I'm trying to save our lives. Save our lives, Beck? We wouldn't fucking be here if it wasn't for you. Well, like, this is my fault. Yeah, it is your fucking fault. If you'd let Moses kill that kid in the woods, we'd be in and out. But no! You were the fucking beast to pull the trigger! It's here. How, huh? How's it falling? How are you doing this, huh? Enough! I'm like fucking here, let's end it! Come on, show yourself!
there. Junior. Junior, can you hear me? Back? Shit. Back, I'm in the morgue. have been corrupted, huh? Good. Uh, this is justice. You killed my brother. Prepare to die, right? <laughs> That's the line. Princess Bride. You need to get me out of here. Yeah, right after you get Marshall. No. If Ola gets this research, he'll turn it into a weapon. And if that happens, we're all dead. Past, yeah, you can feel it. it. Changes your body. It also brings truth. What do you want? To watch your soul disappear. What are you talking about? It is very painful, yeah. First it burns. Your blood will boil. Feel like fire. 
Then you will see things, memories that aren't yours. You will die and come back. Pretty boring as Niffula. Whatever you're on, dude, I'd love just a little taste of it, huh? Oh, just give me a little, just give daddy some, put it in the, oh. You're a funny guy, huh? I promise you, I promise you. That won't last. But if you tell me where Adam is, I will put you out your misery. I already told you. I don't. Truth has set you free. So please. So this is Adam's room? Yes. This is where they kept him. What happens next? Junior! Nothing's getting through this concrete. Tell me that story about Adam again. What? Why? We don't have time. Oh, I think we have time. Why don't you tell me that story about Adam? The one where he's kept down here his entire life. And then he kills his captor so he could escape. Why don't you tell me that story again? What are you talking about? My wife is 12 weeks pregnant. She's been puking since the start. Now, I thought you were just sick. Or maybe it was all this blood or this fucking creature chasing you. But then I see this. Why would Adam have a crib in his room? You're scaring me. How far along are you? You're scaring me. Don't you lie to me! Don't you fucking lie to me!
far longer. I'm about the same as your wife. Fucking please. This whole time. Do you have any idea how many people died trying to save you? What would you have done if you were in my place? With only pictures of the real world and an empty promise that one day you'd be set free! I wasn't gonna let my son be raised in this place. So what, you just killed him? Not all of them. And the distress call, my money, just the carrot at the end of the stick to get us to come rescue you. Why? Why don't you just tell the truth from the start? You know, I want to believe that you're a good person. But you lied. Why? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me try this again. Hi, I'm Chloe. I was made in a lab, been locked down here for 30 years, and I killed my captors. Will you please rescue me? Is that what you wanted? In my experience, people only care when they have something to gain. So I guess the real question is, Will you let me leave? I get why you did it. I'll do anything to save my kid. But that's why I can't let you leave this room. I have a daughter now. And your blood? That's too dangerous. <laughs> Person Beckett. I'm sorry that it came to this. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not letting you leave this room. Marshall was right. You don't have what it takes. Sometimes to beat the monster, you have to become the monster. Gets it.
I never meant for you to get hurt. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. You were going to change everything. Now, what you've done cannot be undone. I am gonna change everything. But I'm doing it my way. She dead? Yeah. Yeah, she's dead. Her 
we're gonna tell people what happened here. Well, we're gonna say it was your idea to come. Hey, now I get to be your daughter's godfather now? You said, I have to be willing to sacrifice, right? Well, I think I just saved the whole world. Does that get me in? Definitely in now. I see you're gonna get up. I'm already gonna drag your ass up this ladder. I'll tell you what. You go ahead. I'm just gonna rest here for a little bit longer. Go on, that's all right. Let's go.